Wonder Chapter 19, The Summer Table. Hey, is this seat taken? I look up and a girl I never saw before was standing across from my table with a lunch tray full of food. She had long wavy brown hair and wore a brown t-shirt with a purple peace sign on it. Uh, no, I said. She put her lunch tray on the table and plopped her backpack down on the floor. She sat across from me. She started to eat the mac and cheese on her plate. Ugh, she said after swallowing the first bite. I should have brought a sandwich like you did. Yeah, I said, nodding. My name is Summer, by the way. What's yours? August. Cool, she said. Summer, another girl came over to the table carrying a tray. Why are you sitting here? Come back to the table. It was too crowded, Summer answered. Come here, there's more room. The other girl looked confused for a second. I realized she must have been one of the girls I caught looking at me just a few minutes earlier, hand cupped over her mouth, whispering. I guess Summer had been one of the girls at that table, too. Never mind, said the girl, leaving. Summer looked at me, shrugged, smiled, and took another bite of her mac and cheese. Hey, our names kind of match, she said as she chewed. I guess she could tell I didn't know what she meant. Summer, August, she said, smiling, her eyes open wide, as if she waited for me to get it. Oh, yeah, I said after a second. We can make this the summer only t lunch table, she said. Only kids with summer names can sit here. Let's see, is there anyone named June or July? There's a Maya, I said. Technically May is spring, Summer answered, but if she wanted to sit here, we could make an exception. She said as if she actually thought the whole thing through. There's Julian, which his name is kind of like Julia, which comes from July. I didn't say anything. There's a kid named Reed in my English class. I know Reed, but how is Reed a summer name, she asked. I don't know, I, sh I shrugged. I just picture like a reed of grass being a summer thing. Yeah, okay, she nodded, pulling out her notebook, and Miss Potosa could sit here too. That kind of sounds like the word petal, which I think of as a summer thing too. I have her for homeroom, I said. I have her for math, she answered, making a face. She started writing the list of names on the second to last page of her notebook. Who else, she said. By the end of the lunch table, we'd come up with a whole list of names of kids and teachers who could sit at our table if they wanted to. Most of the names weren't actually summer names, but we found but they were names that kind of had some sort of connection to summer. I even found a way of making Jack Will's name work by pointing out that you could turn his name into a sentence about summer, like Jack Will go to the beach, which summer agreed worked fine. But if someone doesn't have a summer name and wants to sit with us, she said very seriously, we'll still let them if they're being nice. Okay, I nodded, even if it's a winter name. Cool beans, she answered, giving me a thumbs up. Summer looked like her name. She had a tan and her eyes were green like a leaf.